video game show it's a video game show it's not a game show about videos it's a video game show Welcome to the GamerCast Network Video Game Show for Sunday, December 14th, 2008. This is episode 120, I'm Chad, and this week for the roll call, a roll call question from Mike. What video game would you like to see in another genre? For example, taking something like, what was it even, Mortal Kombat and putting it in Animal Crossing? Yeah. <laughs> Mortal Kombat Crossing. And the crossing would be spelled with a K. You have to go uh, fishing in the lava river with the toasty guy. You have to send mail to Kano. How are you today, Kano? How's your eye doing? Is it still bothering you? So is that your answer there, Ivan, or do you have a better one? <laughs> no, that's as good as I could come up with. And also joining us is Keith. Yeah, I haven't thought of a good one yet. That's a hard one, dude. It's a good one. You have one yet, Phil? Yeah, I'm thinking uh, DDR Gears of War edition. You got to dance as the Gears of dance War character. Dance to shoot. Yeah, but first you got to put on all that armor. Dance to live. Dance. <laughs> so it comes with peripherals. Yeah, a uh, 200 pound suit of armor that you have to wear. It'd be good exercise. So, Keith, anything? It's not really cross genre of any kind, but I would like to have a good Dragon Ball Z role playing game. They had one at one time for the Game Boy, didn't they, or something like that? I don't remember if it was good or not. I doubt it. Most Dragon Ball Z games aren't good, which is unfortunate. Exactly, and I want a good one. Bob, anything? This is the problem, because now I'm actually trying to think of something real rather than. I've thought of like 12 stupid answers and then discarded all of them. Like crossing, you know, uh, Hellgate London and Peggle, because I like to see Peggle in an apocalyptic wasteland. <laughs> like instead of unicorns, like the big uber Cthulhu beast like jumps up and like throws you your bonus. <laughs> <laughs> instead of rainbows, it's just like a river of blood that comes spewing across the screen every time you win. <laughs> they had uh, a similar one to that. They had a uh, Half-Life 2 mod for Peggle. Really? With, like, oh. face suckers and, and stuff. Yeah. The past couple days I've been playing Rock Band, and you know what? There needs to be the guitar peripheral used in another game somehow. Like, fighting the demons of Hellgate London with your guitar. You cross that in, like, Marvel, and you'll end up with oh my God. Justice Friends. You can be, like, Val Halen and shoot, like, lightning bolts out of your axe. <laughs> <laughs> Just make <laughs> Silver Hawks the video game. <laughs> yeah, see? There you go. I, I don't know why they haven't made the guitar peripheral in other games usages yet. You know, strum down is forward and back is walk backwards and all the other ones are like, you know, attack combos so you can shred. <laughs> Actually, can I change my answer? Okay, Phil. Go right ahead. How about a cooking game with zombies? Wait, we said that last week, didn't we? Yeah. yeah. Brain. Did we say that? Yeah. yeah. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> He's preying on our sense of not being able to remember anything because as everyone knows, gamers have no attention span. Actually, retention span. What? Yes. This week on the GamerCast Network. GamerTag Radio has an exclusive podcast interview with David Robinson, the senior producer for Afro Samurai the Video Game. Find out what he had to say in episode number 173. The podcast will features fortnightly abuse of vulgarity from Destructoid.com's British do-nothings. They sometimes talk about video games as well. With Paris on the disabled list, Uncle Gamer is taking the week off, but will return next week with their Games of the Year for 2008. Check out Podtacular for the latest news from the unofficial Halo universe. On Podtoid, find out how Home somehow became an even more idiotic version of Second Life, and EA's punishment for being original. On the Sarcastic Gamer PlayStation podcast, Midnight Club LA is getting easier, and after a few months, is Core delivering what it promised? Discover the community that brings you all these great podcasts and more. GamerCastNetwork.com Next topic. Okay, so... Let me mailbag! Before we do the mailbag, let me put this in here. <laughs> Due to some personal family issues this week, I'm not going to be able to edit the show on Monday, so we're going to get a very, very short show this week. So I think one topic we should have, since the holidays are coming up, what kind of gaming-related gifts would you like to receive for the holidays? A patch for Left 4 Dead. Is it, is it still giving you problems there? Well, last time I played it, it didn't work too good. So, But there was no update. I'm banking on whatever that first patch comes around. Wait, 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 wait. I think there was a patch recently. I know there was one for the 360 because of all the cheaters out there hacking their way at it. But I don't know if there was one for the PC version. So you might want to check that out. I'm asking for a couple of older games and a DS game called Monster Lab. What's that? You get to build a little monster. It looks really cool. You just 
just build the little monster and then you go around fighting for upgrades. <laughs> but then just a couple of older games that I know are cheap nowadays. Bioshock, because I still haven't played it. Good game. Exactly. And I mean, it's like 10 bucks. Good game. One playthrough is all I bought you're going to do. For 10 bucks, that's fine. Hey, that works. Ivan, what are you thinking? Same thing. I pretty much have all the game-related stuff. Not asking for a PS3 or anything. There was a couple games I missed out on. Uh, Left 4 Dead is one of them. I forget how long it's been out. Probably a couple months now, but there was a newer uh, Castlevania game released. It's Orders of Exclasia, and I hear that it's very linear. You know how most Castlevanias, you have all the exploration you can do? This one feels like you're going down a path to the end. Which is unfortunate, because I'm actually anal enough. The past two or three that I played for the DS, you know, I went through and constantly looked at the maps, and I always made sure I went back and opened up every room. Castlevania is usually pretty linear, though. It's very Metroid-like, in like, you go to this area, there's a section you can't get to, so you have to go back, and then you wind up getting a thing, or an item, yeah, or a skill. Yeah, but this isn't even like that. You're going down a tunnel, now you open a door. Left door, right door. It still leads to the same tunnel. Basically, they've taken the backtracking out, from what I understand. Oh, that's unfortunate. I'll probably still try it. I mean, it's Castlevania. But just wait. It'll go down in price. And They say the Spider-Man Web of Shadows for the DS. You know, Web of Shadows was that recent one that came out for all the platforms. And the 360 PS3 versions are very, you know, not very good. But the DS one's supposedly very good, and it's a very Metroid Castlevania-like game. We have to go around and get things and backtrack. From what I understand, you might want to read the reviews on that one. Check that out too, yeah. So what's Monster Lab look like to you, Bob? It looks really freaking sweet. I guess we know what Bob's asking for. A DS. I don't... Well, yeah, I was going to say, I don't have a DS. <laughs> uh, actually, you should, in the very near future, be able to pick up a DS pretty cheap, since uh, sometime within the next half year, the new DS is coming out. Uh, Phil, anything? Kind of at a crossroad with what I really want as far as games. Still enjoying Left 4 Dead and Gears of War. I'm kind of looking forward to going back and playing some of the games I have and haven't even really done a lot of the single-player stuff. For the last month, I've been kind of on this little kick to go back and see if I can find a used copy of Kane and Lynch or even a new copy cheap, and I can't even find it in the retail store, so I'd have to go to like a GameStop or something to find it. I played through Kane and Lynch, and it actually isn't a bad game. It's okay. It's very average. Realistically, all I would probably ask for right now is probably Microsoft Points because I'm uh, pretty spent on that. Bob, did you ever give a real answer for what you want beyond a Left 4 Dead patch? Um, it's leaning towards Monster Lab. It's <laughs> leaning towards Monster Lab. Yeah, I kind of want this. I think my answer is kind of along Phil's answer. I just need time to play games. I haven't even played Fallout 3 yet. So time is what I really want, but if there's one game, I'm probably going to get Prince of Persia. Yeah, that one looks, uh, I don't know. Well, the only thing I hear bad about it is it's not as complicated as the old Prince of Persia. It's easier to play. I like the challenge of the jumping puzzles and whatnot, and they've kind of taken some of it out. I always found Christmas kind of that time to take a little gamble with your game. And that's why, you know, I said, even after hearing the Castlevania game might not be too good, it's kind of like, well, you know, if I'm asking somebody to buy it for me, it's free. Exactly. And I always do that. Monster Lab's my shot in the dark game this year. Next topic. <laughs> Mailbag. <coughs> <coughs> Sorry. <coughs> Let me... <coughs> so... Choke, mother... Choke! Choke on it! Choke! I'm dying. Good. Okay, so our first question here is from Shish Kebab, and he's got a couple general 360 questions. Hi, video game show people. I am buying an Xbox 360 in the not-too-distant future and have been told by friends that you can play using your PC monitor as a screen. Others have told me this is a pile of crap and that you can only play through a TV screen. I'm pretty sure you can buy a VJ adapter for the thing. I was going to say, I mean... It's got an either. HDMI out. Can't you just get a... I mean, I have a cable that goes from that to that. Yeah, there's all kinds of converters. I, if you don't have an HDMI port, well, if you buy a new one in the near future, I'm sure it's going to have an HDMI port. So you can get converters that take that and put it to a PC monitor. DVI were the initials I was looking for. I have a DVI yes. to HDMI cable. What's the DVI stand for? DVI is, I have no idea, digital, digital video, video interface. interface. Nice! Yeah, like that. I, I made, made that up too. Up. <laughs> yeah. That's nice. We both made it up and we both made up the same thing. Well, if we you. both make it up and it's the same, it has to be true. It does stand for Digital Video Interface. Actually, there's a couple other acronyms you can put on that. DVID, DVIA. MFDVIA. Yeah. Mother... 
fucking digital video interface. <laughs> Either your monitor has to have an HDMI port, yeah, or you need a converter, but I don't see any reason why it wouldn't work. And I think that on the latest uh, Xbox update, the new NXE stuff, they support 16 by 10 widescreen monitors. They hadn't supported those before. Yeah. Okay, he has one other question. These people have also told me that you can listen to people on Xbox Live through the headset, while others have said that you can't and have to listen to them via speakers. You can listen both ways. You could do one or the other or both. Yeah, that's just a setting. Yeah, so if you want to hear the kids call you names, you can hear them over your speakers or over your headset. Your choice. Are there still little kids on there just spouting off their stuff all the time, or is it better? I haven't played a public game in so long that I don't even know anymore. I felt bad for some kid yesterday. I don't even know who, who it was. I made a game and was waiting for Bob to join. And some guy hopped into the game. I, I apparently made it open. But I'm sitting here talking to Bob in the party thing and he can hear me. I'm like, who the hell is this f and why is he in my game? He goes, I'm trying to get you in here. How do I get you in here? The guy's like, I, I can hear you. And I'm like, That's, I don't care. I'm not supposed to be playing with you. <laughs> <laughs> I did feel bad afterwards. Because he was just like, sweet, you're going to end the game. And then I just ended the game. <laughs> Next topic. One other piece of mail here from Winston. I have been listening to your show for a while. You should definitely bring back Emilio the Whooping Llama. He never went anywhere. He hasn't had to... Uh protect children from anything recently. When the time comes, we will let out the whoop of justice to summon him. He is ever vigilant in his protection of the children. Indeed. Okay, so Winston's birthday here is coming up, and he's planning on having a LAN party with 16 people all on Xbox. And he was thinking about having two V2 tournaments with, like, four different games. So if you had to choose four games for tournament purposes... Which four would you choose? And I guess he's already including in there Guitar Hero World Tour. Okay, I was going to say, definitely you want your Guitar Hero-based game. I would say Gears of War 2, because they have all kinds of 2 versus 2 things. and Halo 3 is always a good standby, especially for 16 people. Uh, is Vegas good uh, versus... Because I know you guys played all the time doing terrorist hunts. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, Vegas would be a good one. When I wasn't playing with other people, I would play the uh, public games where it was like uh, 8 versus 8 or 10 versus 10 or something like that. It, it works very well. It's a lot of fun. For some of the games, 2 versus 2, some of the maps might be a little big, but I mean, there's always Call of Duty 4. I never played the Unreal Tournament for the 360, but Unreal Tournament's always a good land game. Left 4 Dead might be a good one. Here's a question. What about sports games? Now, is he going to have problems with Maddens and whatnot? For 2v2? Well, not if he's doing 2v2. He shouldn't have any problems. Keith's problem was having four friends on the same team. If you got four guys and you want to play 2v2, that should be okay. Basketball games might be good for sport. In those kind of situations, I like the uh, arcade basketball kind of things. Oh, like the NBA Jam or the uh, streets? The last street I played was still fun, but it was still very street. <laughs> Castle Crashers. Oh, Castle Crashers is good. As a tournament kind of game? Oh, yeah. Castle Crashers has more than just the um, story mode. It's got an arena type thing where you can do multiplayer arena. where It's literally however many versus however many in an arena, and you just fight each other in the arena. And there's also, uh, it's kind of dumb, but there's an eating contest. Something else, Viva Pinata Party Animals is uh, kind of like a Mario Party type uh, thing. Or, I mean, if you've got the means, a Mario Party type thing is... Uh, but he's talking for Xbox 360. <laughs> if, yeah, I mean, strictly Xbox, uh, Viva Pignardi. 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 Viva Moriarty. There's my cross-genre answer. I want Sherlock Holmes and Viva Pinata so you get <laughs> Viva Moriarty. <laughs> Party animals. <laughs> And that was Video Game Show episode number 124, Sunday, December 14th, 2008. Can we call it 123 and a half? Because it wasn't a full show. But it's 120. I refuse to not stay the course. It is 123 and a half there. <laughs> yeah, one I'm with them. 123 and a half. Let's go. I'm going to say no, because that would mean that would put us into January, which would bypass no, Christmas and my remember. Christmas break. Oh, yes. You. We're not Whoa! skipping Whoa! He wants to skip Christmas and Christmas break. Kind of be problem. okay with that. Because <laughs> I'd get my plane ticket money back. <laughs> <laughs> okay, numbering issues aside, any ham sandwiches or Shattered Dream Pies to give to the world peoples? Shattered Dream Pie to the Browns for losing tomorrow. <laughs>
<laughs> Ham sandwich to steam for making Team Fortress 2 10 bucks this weekend and uh, free Peggle. Yes, Peggle was fun. Ham sandwich to the guys who put Dark Knight on Blu-ray because it looks really, really f- sweet. Ooh. Oh, God, it does look f- sweet. A couple quick ham sandwiches out to Twig and Brigo from the GamerCast Network community who are celebrating birthdays this week. For the GamerCast Network Gaming Nights, they're playing Left 4 Dead on the PC. Get all the details at GamerCastNetwork.com slash forums. And as always, send your comments, questions, queries, concerns, or a roll call question to the mailbag at mailbag at videogameshow.org, Skype us at Video Game Show, or call us at 320-300-GAME. That is a standard long-distance call, and all normal fees apply. And that's a wrap. Good night. Hello. Hello. Too quiet, too loud. Uh, well, let's see. Keith? My succulent, sexy voice is just perfect. Could be a little louder, but you're okay, for the most part. Could be more succulent, too. Uh, am I more succulent now? Ah, very good, very good. Phil? I'm here. You're, you're a little quiet there. I'm a little quiet. Okay, now you're better. Oh, no. You're better now. What if I put the microphone no, no, in? No, 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 don't, don't do that. Don't do that. No. Okay, sorry. That's do that again. Too. Okay, now it's my mom. No. Back, back to before when it's not in your mouth. Oh yeah, baby, say that again, Chad. <laughs> uh.